It's now time for me to move on from Iquitos. For the last part of my Amazon River adventure, I've joined up again with conservationist and historic boat enthusiast, Dr. Richard Bodmer, for an expedition deep into the remote heart of the jungle, where he's helping to conserve the region's spectacular wildlife. From Iquitos, we're heading 100 miles or so back upriver to the vast Pacaya Samiria National Reserve, where we're joining Richard's research team on the Samiria River. At the mouth of the Samiria River, Richard's historic research vessel, the Clavero, is waiting for us. Hola. Just Hola. hop off, huh? Get on the Clavero. Hola. Hola. Mucho gusto. Hello. Hola. Hola. Holly, nice to meet you. These are my quarters. I love all this wallpaper. All right. Heading deep into the National Reserve. Built in France for the Peruvian Navy back in 1876, the Clavero is incredibly historic. Originally used to explore and defend the country's Amazonian frontier during the rubber boom, today it's said to be the oldest boat still navigating the Amazon. The largest protected area of seasonally flooded forest anywhere in the Amazon, the Pacaya Samiria National Reserve is a vital refuge for many animal species that depend on this unique habitat. Around 50,000 indigenous people also live in the reserve, allowed to hunt and fish on their traditional lands in return for helping co-manage and preserve the wildlife. One such co-management project Richard is helping with is the conservation of the reserve's turtle population. We'll check in with the park guard here uh -huh. and arrange things for the release of the baby turtles that have recently hatched from the artificial beach that they have here. From the guard station, we collect nearly a thousand baby turtles that are now old enough to be released into the wild. To take them upriver to the designated release spot, we're using the Clavero's small launch. Well, this is a good place to release the turtles. Okay. So we can start. Yeah, how do we do it? it might be easier to lift a whole bucket up. Okay. Should we do that? No, not so. We have a Thank lot you. of turtles to release here. Look at that. Oh, they're excited. So go ahead and grab a turtle. Mm hmm and put it in the water, and it swims away. There's over 900 okay. of them. Yes. Big uh, job. <laughs> 976, I think. 976. They aren't hunted as adults, are they? In the past, they were, but now for the people to get involved with the turtle program, they can no longer hunt the adults, and they can no longer take the eggs. If the local people are taking care of the environment, are taking care of endangered species, of the forest, then they're allowed to sell some of these baby turtles in the pet market. And that gives them an economic incentive to do all that conservation. It's been very successful for the local people and particularly successful for these river turtles. Oh, okay. So in eight years time, these turtles are gonna to start to reproduce and then you're gonna have larger numbers here. It's nice to have a good news environmental story coming out of the Amazon. I mean, this is 976 little bits of potential That's swimming right. off into their future. That's right. Each one baptized by Holly. Yeah. It's the last morning of my trip through the Peruvian Amazon, and I wake up to a spectacular sight. Swimming all around the boat are lots of the rare and unique pink dolphins, which I only got tantalizing glimpses of earlier in my trip. 
the full jungle experience has really come to life. You can hear the dolphins rising and blowing, and the birds are just everywhere. It's truly amazing. It's time to leave the Clavero behind to start my long return journey home. But Richard says we've got one last chance to see some more pink dolphins back at the mouth of the Samaria River. There's often a lot of fish at the confluence, so it's a favorite place for the dolphins to feed. As it turns out, we're really in luck. Oh, there's another two. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, my gosh, they're beautiful. Well, look at that strange behavior. You see that tail, oh, how it's yeah. moving? That's very rare, very rare. That's dolphins made it. And we only really see it at the mouth here during this season. And you can see how they're just moving around, the tail's coming up and they're rolling their bodies right. over there. That's really interesting, really rare to see. What an unbelievable way to end my trip mating pink dolphins. Now there's something I wasn't expecting to see.